On today's episode of Moto Cheese. <laughs> the new and improved 2019 Bashan Braz 250. It has a 229cc counterbalanced engine, air cooled overhead valve. It comes with a digital dash, it also has front and rear disc brakes, it's 50 state legal, inverted forks rear rack all for seventeen hundred and fifty dollars delivered to your door stay tuned while i assemble test and give my opinions on this chinese motorcycle Peace Power Sports was kind enough to offer me a deal. You can get to them through their website, bras250.com. What do you think of the color? Oh boy, look at that. Inverted forks. That, I believe, counterbalance for the engine. It is a five-speed transmission. It looked aluminum, but I believe, I believe it's steel. Let me get a magnet. It is a metal swing arm. Front disc brakes. That's a different type of exhaust system, too. One of the best workbenches ever built, right here. Mini truck, dumpy truck. So, let's see what time it is. 12.25. Can't tell if that's LED, but these are LED blinkers. I really like the color. I like it a lot. Oh, they didn't put a little keeper in there. Usually it's a pretty smart idea. I'll get into this later, but a lot of people are like, Oh man, you get a brand new bike and you got to work on it. Well, I hate to tell you, but when the bikes came with carburetors, even KTMs, the dealer had to put the right jet in it, depending on the elevation. KTMs, all the way up until they switched to fuel injection, gave you extra jets in a kit. So, you're cutting out the middleman that builds it. A little fact... A lot of people seem to overlook because yes it is carbureted still and look at that it's painted on the inside and the outside so far no birthmark painted inside and out not perfect on the inside but it really doesn't have to be as long as it's not white that was one of my disappointments on the tbr oh yeah no blemishes and it's painted both sides and it's actually not too bad plastic it's not it doesn't feel like it's brittle so far so good oh, that's pretty carbon fiber look at that looking good yes i'm gonna get back to the pontoon boat very very soon man i like the inverted forks on this bravo on the packaging Hopefully they all come like this. I have not found any blemishes yet. Comes with a digital cluster with a shift gear indicator. Oh, there's the keeper for the brake. Fell out. Let's see if I can shove that back in there. Oh, comes a nice little rack. Peace Sports. They even stitched it in the seat. So you can't take it off if you don't want it. But you can do magic marker if you don't want to see it. But it'll still be raised. There's a VIN number. ID tag. These have dots. I bet you the dots go down. That's not the right bolt. If I had to guess, those are for the handlebar clamps. This is probably the kickstand. And it would be nice if they made these with the seats that come off. Hey, I found something there. That bolt's not in all the way. It's in a nut. You're going to have to remember that one. Hmm. Would you look at that? It's got a remote start. Hmm. That was there, but nothing was bolted to it. Operation instructions. So there are no assembly instructions, which is typical. If you 
parts that I've never seen before. Tool kit. Let's see what's in it. Looks like a spark plug wrench, Allen wrench, 14, 12, 10, 8, and a two sided screwdriver. Basic kit, which is typical of these. Mirrors, shift lever, don't know yet. Oh, rear set. Uh, that is for the front gas tank cowl. Oh, the battery must be in it. Just gives you acid. Hardened. Probably the front wheel. My guess. These look like a 14. Snug as a bug in a rug. All sorted out here. A couple oddball sizes. Okay, let's see if we can figure out where these go. I'd say these are them. These are a six millimeter motor rider. I knew you'd want to come put this thing together. Yeah, we had a rear brake reservoir in there. Wow, that's right. You gotta reach around it to get the choke on. And then this has a different, it's got a filter on it. They even made it so it almost looks like a 350. Oh, this doesn't have a birthmark. Like, you know how they all come through and they always have like a scratch or a yeah. blemish? I haven't found a blemish yet. I don't know what this is yet. It almost looks like the front fender something for the front fender oh you know what this is, does it goes underneath ah maybe like that's flex, definitely the way it goes flex. first 2019 model to be sold i was told that they sent me the new models have the rear disc brakes got a kind carb put the jack under it and put that rear shock up in the air raise up a little bit there you go all right flat washer lock washer That bolt. That's why you go over every bolt and tighten it. You know that. Message. You can see the adjustable shock in there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. And it's at its lowest level right now, softest. Move this to the other side, because then I can put the kickstand on it. Wow, that's tight. Woo. Wow. I don't know if that's what that's for, but I saw it and I was like, hey, maybe it's for that. This is the one that's got to go on there. It's a locker. Hold her steady. She should be lined up pretty close. All right, there it is. You got the bike? Yeah, I think this goes like this, see? Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. This has to go one there, which these long ones go there. <sighs> so we had to loosen this back one up so we can get this little bracket to float. I think you got it. There's a blade on the TVR. Oh yeah, it's in. That's it. Oh yeah, see? Oh, I know where it goes. Maybe right here. Yep, that definitely goes there. You have to get a number three screwdriver. Is that supposed to slide into that? Does Maybe this turn? moves. Yeah, I think that. I think you're right. Here's that way. Oh, they'll move. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Moto cheese. I didn't even know it was there. Well, that's it. What the hell is this? That's the remote. So it's got a screw here. Alright, you gotta put ass in that. Here. Holy mackerel. Wow. That's a weird battery. 12M7AS-3. Never heard of it. Battery acid all over. Yeah, all on the top level. Get in there. Oh, there it is. 90%. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's got to be longer. No, it ain't enough. Where the hell do we use those then? Oh, these right here, look. That's the one. Oh, you son of a biscuit. I like them inverted forks, though. Hmm. Actually, this oil looks good. It doesn't look like the stuff that comes in a hawk. It looks like actually good oil. I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. this one too. Alright, so the headlight. Next. This must be the headlight adjustment. This is supposed to go back here. Because that's supposed to go up and down. Yeah. Oh yeah, got that too. Got them. <laughs> Let's see how good they machine this piece, huh? These comes with everything. Rack, digital speedometer. Not sure if I like that handlebar. I kind of like having that extra support. Egyptus. They didn't put one in there, or or they did and it fell out. <laughs> I have to tap it. This isn't a bottoming tap, so <laughs> I don't want to go into the tank with it either, as far as I can go. Yeah, hopefully that'll be enough. Oh yeah. Damn. It says full battery. Yeah, it sucks. If you don't have a tap set. Not many spare parts. Yeah, that'll work, see? Wonder why they did it that way. It's better off with where you can get to them screws like that. Yeah, that way. Oh, there it is. Dang. Oh. This has to go. The other side. Like that. I think, yep, definitely. What do you think? Ready for the plastic? Thank you.
adjust the handlebars too. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the alarm. Look at that. Let's park. <laughs> Let's see. Might have to do reserve. <laughs> Look at that. That is quiet. I like it. Going up in smoke. I always like these like a little bit loose anyway. Wow, it even idles. I like that quiet muffler, man. Holy cow. Horn works. Headlights not on. There, the tie. Low. Running lights not working. Hit it. Oh, there it is. All right. So that goes. Everything goes off when you shut that off. Blinkers worked. That's yep. Yeah. That's working. Headlight on again. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's working. Running light, yep. Jetting feels right. Maybe a tad lean. Ride's pretty good. A box No, it might be a hair lean. It is. Don't rev it out too much either. You gotta break her in, you know. Then you can go for ride two blade. Always. What? It's right here. Alright, that's supposed there to be the kill. It. Oh, that's weird. Kill switch is turning four ways. Maybe it's because it started it. Oh, it's still running from the remote. That's why. <laughs> How do you turn it off? Oh, there it is. So the key, the ignition was still on. Oh, it says right there, hazards. Yeah. Oh, there's no kill then. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, boy. That's start. Oh, look at that. How do you turn it off here? Oh, yeah. Nice. And then there it's armed. Disarmed. Alarm. <laughs> that fat ass. Breaking slow. Power wise, it, for like not jetting or anything, it's actually really good. Yeah. I could tell it's a tad on the lean side, but it's actually good. Yeah, 110s usually. Probably has, it's prob I bet you it has a 98. Definitely quiet. I like that carbon fiber, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, they should have made it match, though. Two different ones. I know, I agree. Or line all three up, maybe? The original Hawk, Bashan Braz 250, and the TBR7, Tau Tau. All right, I can check out this alarm system. See how it works. Oh, that works. I was going to show you guys. It has two-sided tape, but they didn't use it. Which is okay, because some people do not want this system. One thing you should know is that it's slightly parasitic. So if you leave it connected and you park the bike for a while, it's going to drain your battery. So that works. It's got a motion sensor. I want to see. Out of gear. Is it going to try to start? 
Nope. That's one thing. They should have put automatic choke. If I go to steal the bike. Nope. So if you start your bike, they can take off with it. The suspension is nice and soft. They use like a memory foam under the seat. The seat is very, very soft. So it's got 90, 90, 19 front tire. So it's a 19 inch rim. 110, 90, 17 rear wheel. So overall, it's a really nice bike. The best Chinese bike I've actually put together yet, in my opinion. I did find one little blemish. That's the birthmark. But that's the only only blemish on this whole bike a little longer than a few minutes later <laughs> it helped if I knew which is what for the lighting huh brakes feel really good it's so quiet I can't hear it running. That counterbalance makes it nice and smooth. The jetting's not bad. I say it's a tad tad on the lean side, but it's totally totally rideable. The suspension is really nice on this. Listen to this thing. Can't even hear it run. Reminds me of a scooter. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Hit that mouse or whatever it was, mole, mouse, vole. bigger main jet in this thing oh yeah I don't think I want to even touch the exhaust because it's nice and quiet <laughs> what the hell is he laughing about what the hell is that wicked laugh about what are y'all wet I was like what the hell that's badass hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to hear what you have to say Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.